just reassure her. Make her feel appreciated. Yeah, exactly. Diane gets a little cranky if she feels like I take her for granted, but she's real, you know. I can calm her out if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, Claire's a little more complicated. Well, if you like her and she likes you, what's the problem? Well, Claire's a little nervous, I can tell. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have dinner. Claire's gonna make the next move. And she's gonna think, well, I'm gonna let her think it's her idea. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Diane and I aren't really that complicated. As long as everything's good in the bedroom department, yeah, that's, we're good everywhere that, else. Well, that's good. You're a lucky man. Thank you. You know what I mean? I believe, and I still believe, we have a connection that goes beyond the norm. And while we're on the subject of mixed emotions, you were the one who wanted to call it quits. Does this mean you've made another decision? I can't answer that yet. Oh, you can't answer that? All right, fine. So, basically, uh, fine, that's fine, it works for me. You wanted to think about it, that's fine. But I have my life to live. Cindy? S Cindy? Cindy is like the bracelet. Neither is what you make them out to be. Oh, yeah, well, we'll see. Enjoy your dessert, Sonny. Yeah, well, it's in your court, okay? Uh, you have the power. You know my number. I just forgot. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Have fun with the bracelets. Oh. Mm -hmm. The clasp is stuck. Right. 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 Anywhere I know? Photographer says that Cartulo is going to love the photographs. But you don't? I don't know. So, why didn't you tell me that it was a bridal shoot? Brenda, I have nothing to do. No, I, I'm, I'm asking you, what would you, you have nothing to do. I, I walk into this photo shoot and there is a rack of wedding dresses. I almost walked out. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I want you to call Cartulo. And I would like you to tell them that I am going on a trip for ASEC, and they may put as much security around me as they would like, because I certainly wouldn't want to upset anyone right now. If there is another trip for No, 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 not, not, not if. I just said there is going to be another trip. Why do you think I just put myself through that horrible photo shoot? Do you listen to anything that I'm saying to you ever? Look, I appreciate that it was no, difficult. you don't appreciate, and you don't know how I feel. Trust me on that one. There is a man standing there, a stranger, asking me personal questions about me. This is none of his business. He doesn't even care what the answers are. Do you realize that? He just wants to see if he can get some vulnerable look to come across my face so he can put that face out into the world. Oh, and then the world can pick that face apart. Take it I easy. hate modeling. I've told you that a million times. It's a pointless, meaningless, ridiculous, mindless occupation. And I don't even need to be doing this anymore. And I shouldn't even be doing this anymore. But you... You're the one, right, Suzanne, who keeps telling me that I need to become more famous. Because if I'm not super famous, I'm not going to be able to do anything good for these kids. Well, yes, that's the way it works. But at some point, putting yourself in the spotlight just becomes too dangerous. Okay. I would like you to take a second and make up your mind about what it is that you would really like for me to do. Because our security people don't know what they're doing. Apparently, men with knives can get past our security. Do you realize the other night when those men came into my dressing room? They walked right into my dressing room, Suzanne. Where was our brilliant security? I mean, look, let's face the truth. If some guy really wants to kill me, he could walk through this door right now and there would be nothing that we could do about it. If we decide that it's safe enough for you to take another trip for no, ASAP, and it's a big if. Not if. I'm going. We're going to have to make major changes in security. It's going to be intense, and you're going to hate it. Okay, I, I have an idea. So I promise to stop hating it if you guys can find someone who actually knows what he is doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, it's someone here.
here to kill me. Let's see who it is. Linda, don't open the door. Who is it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 call security. Suzanne, call security. Jeez. Uh, I think I'll uh, let the two of you work this out. No, no, I actually don't want you to leave this alone because this is the, he's my ex-husband. Just tested your security. I got up here in 10 minutes without being seen. Yeah, well, your That's tests don't good. really count because you're a professional killer. So are the people who are after you. Do you really want to die? The other guy provoked Michael. He didn't start it, right? Uh, yeah, it, it took a while to figure out what actually happened. Michael wasn't saying much, but Christina really, uh, really went to bat for him. You'd have been proud. I appreciate you taking care of your brother and uh, letting me know what happened. Well, I'm also here to remind you about the judge's ruling and that, you know, you should probably try and keep minimal contact with Michael. just be nice, just, you know, get past the trial, you know, and move on. Is that why you invited Claire Walsh to dinner? How do you know that I, I invited Claire? Well, she came to town to shut you down, and now she's asked to be taken off the case due to conflict of interest. I mean, it's not that difficult to figure out. But what's your story? Well, it started out as a scam, a way to protect myself, and now Claire thinks that I'm using her. Are you? Yeah, but not in the way she thinks. Came all the way from Port Charles to test my security. Why is the Balkan after you? Well, uh, who, who told you about the Balkan? Why? Just answer the question. Why is the Balkan making you I a don't target? know. You don't understand how dangerous this guy is. Look, I have actually built an incredibly lovely life for myself here, so the last thing my security team needs is some buff guy from upstate New York coming and telling them how to do their job. They actually know what they're doing. Then why did you almost get your face slashed and kidnapped Who's twice? telling you all these things? Uh, Suzanne? Suzanne? She's an exaggerator. Yeah, you ignore everything you hate including the people who try to kill you. Oh, that's my business. So, what's your business here? Oh, well, Brenda, I, I'm glad you asked. My business here, um, well, it, by the way, it's nice to see you after eight years. Um, Sonny told me to come and protect you, and so that's why I'm here. Sonny doesn't even know I'm here. I, the, the woman I let go of was... Uh, it doesn't sound like you've uh, let go of her at all. Well, I have to because I can't let her into my life because it becomes too complicated. It all becomes about her, an obsession. Like, I, you know, just even now, two, a couple hours with her and, you know, it's going to take a little while to get her out of my system. What does this have to do with Claire Walsh? Claire's a, a diversion, a, a way to move forward. Don't get me wrong, I like Claire. I like her a lot. She's 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 beautiful. I when I, when I spend time with her, it's great. You think it's wrong to be with one woman to get over another? <laughs>